Tonight, a bitter backlash at City Hall over a Republican plan to strip St. Louis of its power over the airport and police department. New tonight, our political editor, Mark Maxwell, details the plan and has the pushback from the mayor. Mark. Mike, as Mayor Tashara Jones pushes for more reform and oversight of police, political forces are lining up against her in Jefferson City with renewed calls to take control of police away from City Hall. St. Charles County Executive Steve Elman argues if crime spills over from the city into the suburbs, it's only fair that lawmakers at the state level might pursue a power play in the city. Aren't you overstepping your boundaries here? No, uh, not at all. St. Charles County Executive Steve Elman acknowledges his push for a state takeover of the St. Louis Police Board faces a steep hurdle in Jefferson City. It's going to be a heavy lift. Even if the House and Senate approve his plan, Mayor Tashara Jones says, Our governor believes in local control, so I don't know where Steve is coming from. I, I still believe in local control. I mean, I'm a county executive. When he was a state lawmaker, Elman voted to give St. Louis control over its own police board a decade ago. Now, he says times have changed. The city also has a problem, which reflects on all the rest of the region. Elman's op-ed in the St. Louis Business Journal calls for state lawmakers to rein in the city's, quote, sky-high crime rates because it hampers growth in the region. But his plan doesn't stop at the police department. He'd also consolidate the city and county prosecutor's offices, forcing voters to pick between Kim Gardner or Wesley Bell, bring in Missouri Highway Patrol as reinforcements for city police, and strip St. Louis of its sole grip on its prized possession, Lambert International Airport. The city continues to own it, continues to run it, but it's basically the users and the federal taxpayers who are paying for it. Elman says sharing control of the airport could mean jobs for some of his constituents. You wouldn't have to uh, uh, live in the city to work at the airport. And while consolidating courts might mean one less prosecutor at the top. No judge, uh, bailiff. Our janitor would lose their job. Steve Elman doesn't live in St. Louis City or County. He lives in St. Charles. So when he is starting to govern in St. Louis City or County, then he can talk about how we can run our business here. This would you support the state taking over control of the police board in St. Charles? If we had the crime rate that the city of St. Louis has, absolutely. I don't, I don't know if this is a, some swan song that he has as he's about to go off into the sunset, but we are sick and tired of people who don't live here, who, who don't even govern us, trying to tell us what to do and how to do it. This is a swan song. I've got uh, well, one more term. I've got one more term. I'm not a, I'm on a post, so I will be elected, and I, and I have four more years to make a difference. Elman is hoping a number of new lawmakers coming to Jefferson City in the new year pick up on his swan song, as he called it, and pick up this old debate and strip St. Louis of much of its powers. You can watch more of that full exchange with Steve Elman on the record up on our website right now, KSDK.com.